Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner is facing perhaps the biggest challenge of her eight years in office. Occasionally flamboyant and politically combative. She's perhaps loved and loathed in almost equal measure. Her supporters are fiercely loyal to the woman they see as continuing the Peronist tradition, this country's own particular brand of political populism. That support is strongest on the other side of the tracks in the shanty towns of Buenos Aires. President Cristina's welfare programs and price controls are overwhelmingly popular here. Cristina is one of us, a flag-bearing militant for the movement. She stands for social justice and economic independence, says Victoria, a young Peronist activist. A bar dedicated to Cristina, her late husband Nestor, and the founders of their movement, Juan Domingo and Eva Perón. There's undoubtedly a personality cult focused on Cristina. But does she now see herself as the mother of the nation, a new Evita? They are women, they are both very important leaders of our nation. They At the Eva Perón Museum in Buenos Aires, the comparison hasn't gone unnoticed. Every time you have Cristina in an announcement or a speech, you can see that behind her you have a picture of Evita. This is not just coincidence. To be connected to Evita is to be connected with a very important part of our society. But the last year of Cristina's presidency has been plagued by protests against a faltering economy and now the unexplained death of a public prosecutor, Alberto Nisman. In qué cabeza puede caber? An increasingly isolated president betrays herself as the victim, dressed head to toe in white, sitting quite obviously in a wheelchair and accusing her enemies of a conspiracy. Unable to stand for re-election, Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner must salvage something from her last few months in office if she's to emulate her heroine and not become another footnote in Argentina's turbulent political history. Willa Davis, BBC News, Buenos Aires.